All right, guys, today is the day we are finally revamping the entire storage area for this section of the studio. These four racks are going away and eight brand new racks are coming in. It's going to drastically increase the amount of storage space that we have here and really utilize this area for maximum storage potential. This is all coming hot on the heels of this brand new partition wall that was built. If you guys missed the studio update video that we posted recently, I kind of go into more detail about the wall and how it's uh, sort of finishing out the, the film set, allowing us to, to really start building and decorating more of that, but also kind of creating this, this whole partition area of the office space where we can really um, start utilizing the space to its fullest for storage. Basically the plan today is uh, Uline. I, I bought all the, uh, the racks from Uline. There's eight of them and they're arriving today. I don't know what time yet. They just said before 5 p.m. It's still early in the morning right now. So I kind of have to stick around to make sure that I'm here to receive the delivery. But before they do that, I want to have this area cleared out. So the first thing on the agenda is to get rid of these racks, which means I'm gonna have to disassemble them because they're, they're just too big and bulky to leave here. I'm actually gonna take them home and they're gonna go in the garage for, for personal storage, which we actually really need. As far as the new layout's gonna go, it's gonna be much different than this. You can see that we've just got two simple rows here and products are accessible from both sides of the rack, which is nice. We're gonna keep some of that in the new design, but here's just a brief recap in case you, again, if you didn't see the uh, previous update that we did. So this is the layout. You can see we've got them arranged in a, a C shape, very much like our film set right now, but we also have these two racks right in the middle. So it's gonna create two aisles that I can walk down and access things. Um, that means I'll be able to access products from both sides of these two racks. Uh, these ones, you can see that the, I kind of made it to scale more or less, but you can see that uh, the racks that are hugging the walls, these are all slightly thinner. They're, they're a bit more narrow. They're only one and a half feet wide as opposed to two feet in the middle. That's because I can only access products from one side anyway, and I don't really have any products. Even like 360 millimeter AIOs, they, they don't really require more than 16 to 18 inches of, uh, of depth right there for, for a particular shelf. So um, I think I pretty much planned this out as best as I could to really optimize this area. Now, just to put things in perspective in terms of how much extra storage space we're gonna have by the end of this, right now with these four racks, these four two by four racks with five shelves each, we have 160 square feet of surface area on, on our shelves. Once we have the new shelves come in with that new configuration and layout, we're gonna bump that up to 245 square feet, which is roughly a 53% increase in overall shelving surface area. It's a pretty crazy gain, and I think it's really gonna go a long way in helping us stay more organized and obviously fit more stuff in this space. I'm I'm really excited to see it come together. I also think it's just gonna look really cool. It's gonna look really super profesh. It's also worth noting that the new racks are gonna be a slightly different design. Uh, they're gonna be wireframe, whereas these ones are, um, they, got, they have the actual wood solid shelves. The wireframes are nice because they don't collect dust nearly as much, uh, even though like most of the dust settles on the products anyway, since most of these racks are full. It is kind of nice. It makes them a, a bit lighter and they're much easier to assemble. That's, that's the big thing there. These ones are kind of a pain. I usually have to have wifey sauce help me. I can do it alone, but it, it goes a lot smoother and quicker with two people but these wireframe ones just go up super easy. One person can do it. And since we have eight of them coming in, that's really gonna cut down on the amount of time it'll take to build them up. In case you were wondering why some of these racks are so empty, it's because I actually had to move some of the products into the kitchen temporarily. So the racks would be light enough for me to scoot this way uh, while the, the uh, contractors were building this wall, just because they were they were totally in the way and stuff. But rest assured, we have plenty of products to uh, to really fill out this space when all said and done. So yeah, that, that should be fun. That's what we're doing right now though. I'm gonna go ahead and tear all this down, remove everything, clear it out so that it's all ready to go as soon as the new racks get here. All right, suckers, the shelves have arrived. They actually came on this giant pallet. And uh, yeah, the uh, the delivery guy looked pretty exhausted when he rolled up to the front of my building because look at all that. Look at this shelf. Oh my God, there's so many. These are all the poles. I opened one box already. This is sort of what the, uh, the legs will look like. Six feet tall. Very nice. And we got a lot of shelves, a lot of shelves. I, I swear they looked a lot smaller on my monitor than they do right now, but that's okay. I, I know that I got the right amount. I'm feeling confident. Cannot wait to put this all together. It should probably take take around an hour to an hour and a half, depending. I think like taking it out of the box is gonna be the most tedious thing and just uh, making making room for me to build as I go along, but uh, we should be done pretty soon here. Once the racks are completed, once they're assembled and in their proper place, I'm gonna go ahead and just put all the products, all the products back on. That's gonna take another hour to an hour and a half, I, I think. So we're looking at a good three hours solid here before we circle back and I give you the grand tour of the new storage area. Let's get to it.
Yeah, shelving complete. Look at those racks. So we actually have so much more space now that there's actually empty racks that are just waiting for, for new products to come in. And in fact, I actually added more things to this, uh, this area, more, more products and stuff. You can see those bins. That wasn't even on the previous racks. And if you remember those old racks, they were completely full. And now we have just a ton of spare room for extra stuff coming in. Uh, it's awesome. I've never had this much extra overhead when it comes to storage ever. And I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, the shelves themselves were really easy to put together, way easier than the last racks. Um, they did take a lot of time though because it was just me working on them and there's a lot of them. Again, we have eight racks here, but very solid quality. I feel like wireframe anything is pretty synonymous with being cheap, like, you know, wobbly and stuff, but these are just rock solid. I really love them. Uh, again, I got them at Uline and stuff and they were actually pretty reasonably priced. Does add up when you buy eight of them though. Uh, but anyway, I uh, I guess I should give you a tour, right? Let's, let's do a quick tour. There's not a whole lot to see here. It's pretty, we can go through it pretty quickly. So the top row in this corner is all AIOs. So just just, just CLCs. We've got AMD GPUs, and uh, most of these boxes are full, but some of them are empty. We have some extra room here for more GPUs coming in from Team Red, because of course, with the Radeon RX 6000 series right around the corner, I have to, of course, make a little bit of extra room for those. We got power supplies in the bottom two rows, and I actually added a couple more units up here that didn't have uh, retail packaging. More AMD cards right here. We also have uh, the NVIDIA side. You can see the NVIDIA side is booming with GPUs compared to uh, its competitor. And then we also have uh, just random stuff. Stuff. There's like random stuff from like, I don't know. I don't know what, what even this is. Like this might be like some, some Bitwit merch that uh, we just got an excess of. I think this is like our DJI, uh, what's it called? The, the thing, the gimbal. We have a gimbal. There's a backpack with like original hotline hardware still in there. I think there's like water blocks and stuff in there. I haven't, it's been like years and I haven't taken it out yet. Just a bunch of other random miscellaneous stuff that I didn't really know what to do with. So so there it is. It's that's why it's shoved into the corner because I don't really need to access that stuff ever. We also have some more CLC stuff stuff, some custom water cooling hardware. And then we also have CPUs. So AMD on this side, Intel on this side, we don't really need one rack per, per vendor or per manufacturer because they're, they're CPUs. I don't really keep the boxes much for these. So they they, uh, they can fit, you can fit a lot of them in a very small space. Let's see, who do I have more of? Pretty even actually, because I, I think in the last, if you were to just count the last three years, I've definitely accumulated more Ryzen CPUs in that time. But I think since I started YouTube and started the tech channel, you know, Intel was much more popular than AMD back in the day. So Oh yeah, it's, it's pretty evenly stacked there. But anyway, we can talk about CPU rivalry another time. Memory over here, all of our DDR4, we got some DDR3 in the box, just uh, bare sticks lying around there. And we got some retail boxes still and SSDs over here, both M.2 NVMe, SATA and all that stuff. And then look at all this empty space. Don't know what to do with this yet, but I actually have room for my freaking Pelican cases now. Amazing. We've got air coolers all up here, this row and that row, just air cooling there. And then mother, mother boards galore. I've actually divided this. So remember this rack, these center racks are two by four. They're actually thicker, as you can tell, than the ones on the edges, but I can actually double stack them. And we've got AMD motherboards on the left and Intel boards on the right. And there's gaps. There's like, you'll see gaps here and there because I'm trying to organize them by, by sort of category. You know, you've got your mini ITX AMD boards here. These are all your 500 series. And that continues over here with the B550s. And we also have the high-end desktop motherboards, X399, TRX40, and that sort of thing. And then we we have 400 series boards and then 300 series boards. I think there's also some older, much older chipsets there as well, along with the blasphemous A320. We don't talk about that. Let's go over here. More uh, Intel motherboards. I'm not going to tell you exactly how I split those up, but there you go. More empty space. CPU coolers, mostly Intel. I'm sorry, AMD stock coolers, a bunch of wraiths, hella wraiths, and then one Intel stock cooler. How the times have changed lately. And then we also have hard drives, optical drives, more empty space. The other reason why I haven't really populated these uh, these shelves in particular, the ones right here in the front, is because uh, you notice that these don't have holes. These, these don't actually have legs. Instead, they rely on these S hooks. Why am I going over there? Those don't have any. These S hooks, so that way it can actually basically hang on to the adjacent rack for support. But I ran out of S hooks. I didn't buy enough. Shame on me. All of this right side pretty much doesn't have S hooks, which is why I haven't put any load on these racks, except for that, which isn't too heavy. And then we've got uh, we got VR stuff. And then I'm laughing because I forgot I brought like my airsoft stuff here.
here just randomly. I've got like a, a handgun, like a pistol and some green gas and BBs in there. Um, I haven't touched them in ages because I think the gun's kind of broken. It seems like an easy fix, but I'm not uh, too equipped to do that myself. So I'll probably get around to that, you know, in the next five years or something. This is all e-waste, like dead power supplies, batteries and stuff. I just threw it up here because I can now. I have room for it. We've got RGB accessories, everyone's favorite. Lots of different accessories, cable mod stuff, Fantex case accessories. And then these are all of our fans, RGB fans, non-RGB fans, controllers, yada, yada, yada. And then uh, down here, peripherals. All of my, my crusty old keyboards that uh, have just been neglected for a long time and haven't been cleaned. And then more, more nicer peripherals that are still in their boxes. And that, my friends, is the new storage area. I, uh, I thought this was gonna take a lot less time than it did, so I am tired and I'm going to end things there. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Toss a like on it if you enjoyed it, get subscribed for more tech content on the way, and I'll see y'all in the next one.